Hey everybody, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard and we're gonna be opening Renerva Rising. So this is DBT-08. It's the newest set that came out for Standard. Obviously Minerva is one of the key cards coming back from this set, all the way back from Limit Break era. We also got some new support, some uh, revives with Lukie, Maelstrom's coming back, and we got some new ride lines. Got Shoujo Doji <laughs> just coming out, and we got a new monster ride line as well, which features research cards like Ava. There's a lot of really cool stuff coming on the set, so I'm actually really excited to be opening up this box. Um, but I really quickly wanted to give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is 50 Cards. So 50cards.shop is a website where you can go and pick up play sets, slits, you can pick up uh, supplies, sleeves, deck boxes, that sort of thing. Most importantly, the splits are one of the best ways for you to update your decks and be able to get them up and easy before the market takes over. We're looking at all the prices right now. A lot of these cards are getting insane. If you want to kind of beat the market, just go ahead and pre-order your playset splits in advance. So be sure to use code Nexus when you're checking out at 50cards.shop. So that way you can get 5% off when you're picking up your playset split. And without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this box open. Here we are, we're gonna be opening up Minerva Rising and today's special tool of the day. It's gonna be our classic box cutter. Let's get in there. It's also, now that we're already talking about it, what are the decks you're actually excited for building in this set. Lukie, Maelstrom obviously coming back. Shoujo Doki is actually really good. So I'm actually surprised at how well the deck is doing. And new monster Ava support is also really fun. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the box. And what we got? Got a little promotion pack there. Uh, Vanguard Zero, Groovy Mix, just all the, the usual stuff. No box toppers, unfortunately. So. But we got our packs, should be 16 packs. Let's just go ahead and throw that to the side. Seven, eight? Yep, that's eight. So we got our full 16. Let's just jump right into the first pack. Cool, we got some commons. Whoa, what is that? Got some Gear Chronicle looking stuff. Uh, Eric is back, cool. Officer Cadet Eric, starter. This is really good in Gurgit. Just, just wanted to mention that. Uh, monster cards, and that was our two rares. Yep, those were our two rares. So we're not starting off strong, but that just means we get to save the best for last, right? All right, ooh, I saw something a little shiny back there for a second. Uh, ooh, that's a really cool looking robot. That's some order support. Uh, that is Maelstrom support. Gunners, uh, glitter support for that. This is a monster order card, so the whole theme of these monster orders is basically setting these are these research cards. These are Brant Gate research orders. And it basically the idea is that you're gonna be putting monsters into them and then pulling monsters back out. And Triple R is Ro 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 Ra Ro 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 Wa support. So this is the new Ra Rad Radalina. Rattalina, however you want to pronounce it. At the end of the battle that you're unit with Rattalina and its name attacked, so the grade two, or it's a grade, it's a grade two, right? If your opponent's fangers is grade three, you're going to retire a rearguard with Rattalina and its name and a token and call this to rear and increase this unit's power by the power of the token retired for the ability. So it's multi-attacking. Beginning of your main phase, if you do not have a token, uh, the Momo, Mo, the little, little dude right there, that guy, if you now have a token on your rear, call up to one to your rearguard circle. So this kind of helps you with the consistency of getting those tokens out. And that's our first triple R. Third pack, we've got some uh, Shoujo Doji support already. Um, that is Shoujo Doji support. This is a common, that's a common uh, Calamity cards, which is setting up for set nine, which is interesting that we're getting these in set eight. So with these, Calamity orders do is they search each other out and they have to work with the new weird uh, Calamity deck that comes in set nine. We've got a rare and another rare. This is Judgment uh, Maelstrom. So what Judgment Maelstrom does is it's a set order and the more of these that you have um, set up, you're gonna be able to pop off those effects. So the old idea is that the more of these you have, the more power you can give to a unit. And then that unit, when it restands over and over, is gonna swing for big number that's the uh that's the plan there keeping it moving keeping it moving uh, glitter cards that's a really pretty card that makes tokens i'm assuming uh plant tokens that is what it does cure chronicle looking card cider which is minerva support 
uh, that looks like Maelstrom. No, that is not Maelstrom. It's a blue white dragon, but it is a monster card. Eric is back. Double R. Oh no, this yeah, it is a double R. This is the card that um, buying that puts cards that's in your opponent's bind zone into the bottom of their deck so that that way they're not getting them back into their hand. And Archite, which is the main boss line for the monster deck. So what she does, uh, when your rear guard with monster in its name is placed, put a card with the same name as that card from your order zone on the bottom of your deck, and that unit gets 10k. When this attacks, if your order zone has a research card, count plus one, activate all the effects below. If your order zone has three or more, choose a rear guard monster, put in your order zone, so that's how you put them in there. Second, look at the top seven, choose one of you with monster and call it. So that way you can deck then, kind of similar to what Ava does with Hubskeet Hide. So that is the main line for the deck and that's the boss unit for the monster decks. I'm pretty sure we're still supposed to be guaranteed an SP. I don't think there's any like returning over triggers in this set. The order, I'm sorry, plant token creator, ciders, monster support, Eric is my third Eric. This definitely has to be Maelstrom support. When you're in the unit, stand by credibility. Soul plus one in this unit gets 10K. It's a great one, but you know, I don't know how much you need soul in Maelstrom. This seems like a generic uh, card. Buying all the cards in the chosen rear for Kind of Blast 2, not very good. Kind of Blast 2 to remove a card is, is a lot. Like that's a lot. We even learned from back in the Blaster Blade days that cb2 to retire one it was only like when it was absolutely necessary that you had to do that what do you do you are more more airy when a place on rear if your soul is a grade three put a grade three from hand to soul draw a card this gets 5k might be good premium ezel support <laughs> uh irena which is the ride deck uh grade one for lukie signpost fairy this looks like glitter yep glitter support this is a normal unit. This looks like the grade two. Yep, this is the grade two archite for the ride line. Uh, wow, that's a really cool looking Aqua Force looking card. During the fourth battle or more, units in the same column get 5k. Okay, I love the artwork though. Uh, this is Maelstrom support, it's a rare, and this is, sh it says stealth, but I'm assuming it's like Shoujo Doji Tamayura, however it's pronounced, uh, support, but it's stealth support. Nothing too crazy in that pack. We're gonna keep it going. Y'all know what video game this is. Uh, Glitter support. This is the starter for Lukie, another Calamity card. More um, Brant Gate set order support. Glitter card. Uh, the, the dude retired by card ability. Uh, this unit's 5k, so Rorowa support. And Glitter support for Dragon Empire. Cool. All right. Shoujo Doji, Calamity. So all the Calamities do the same thing. They, they are different grades, but it's all kind of boss one. Search your deck for Calamity, reveal it, put it in your deck. They all do the same thing. Glitter support, uh, Maelstrom support, Maelstrom support. This is the order for Lukie, which lets you pull it out from the soul to pay its cost. Uh, so you can do some more uh, multi-attack shenanigans. And this is an order that is meant, it looks like by the artwork it's meant for Genesis, but it's a very generic effect as well. Uh, it just lets you call two things from your hand and draw two cards. So it helps you fill your board, which is nice. Um, and some spicy uh, spicy tech and gurgit if you want to throw it in there. We got two triple R's so far. So we're still looking. Arena, Calamity, Shoujo Doji, Aqua Force, Shoujo Doji. Whoa, Shoujo Doji. Ugh, I tried to do it. We got a rare and then we got Title Assault, which is Back again. It's a triple R. When this unit attacks, Soul Blast 1. Choose one of your Vanguards or Maelstrom in its name. It gets 5k. At the end of all that this unit attacked, if it's the second battle of that turn, or you, if, you, uh, if it's the second battle of this turn, if you have a stand Vanguard Maelstrom, you can count plus one and stand this unit. So it lets you do more attacks. You can stack the uh, Judgment Maelstrom for the extra power onto this. So when it keeps swinging. So Title Assault always manages to stick around, right? Another, I was gonna say Irina, Ionea, Ionea and Ainoia. Shoji Doji, Aqua Force Support, Shoji Doji Starter. Uh, Lillian, which is the grade two ride line for Lukie. And Double R, Avent Row Burst. Uh, this is when it's placed on rear, count plus one, search your deck for up to one set order, reveal it. If your order zone has a card with the same name as that card, you can put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. So that can be really good. 
Uh, it could be good Avis support, but I know people don't necessarily need this. It's good monster support. When this attacks, if you have two sours with the same name in the order zone, if you chose two cards, this gets 10k, so it's just more power. I feel like this is probably useful in the monster deck, so that's assuming like the main point of why you're using this card. Now we're getting on to that pack that I was trying to sneak in there. Starting off with some Calamities. Judge Doji, this is the starter for our kite. This is the monster starter. Uh, this is some generic shield card. Generic Glitter, Dragon Empire support. Uh, this card, which I found out recently, is decent for a budget. Um, why am I forgetting your name? Keter Sanctuary uh, Dragon deck. Forgetting its name. Brant Gate, this looks literally looks like a Link Joker card. When placed on rear order zones two or more, you may soul charge. Kind of sounds like Link Joker support. No, nope, that was it. I feel like that would be the next thing that they would do. They'd probably uh, bring back Chaos Breaker as, as like the next revival card. Uh, what we got? Dark States, uh, Theo. This is this has to be the Grade One Ride Line. Has to be. Dragon Empire, Archite, Cider, and we got a Double R, which is Breathing Dragon, Silver Thorn. When this is placed on the back row rear from the Soul, if you have a Vanguard with Lukie, Soul Blast. Yeah, Soul Blast one. Choose one of your Vanguards, and it gets all your front row rear guards get 5k until the end of the turn. Which is good for multi-attacking as well. So that's that's actually a really, really good card. You definitely should be playing for that in Lukie. Oh, that's cool. I got a flame rare of Dark Magenta of Blooming Hatred. So what this card does is uh, if you have Vanguard with the Gray in its name, it's the only way you can play it. Second skill is Order Zone. If you have a grade three Vanguard with the Gray in its card name, you can uh, put this card into the drop zone. And then you choose a grade three with the grandest name from with a different name. So basically, if you're on light, dark, if you're on dark, light, um, and ride it as stand. So you proc persona ride. So that's kind of cool. Although the Thagrea promo, the grade three one, is a is a lot better. So unfortunately, I won't, don't think this is going to see as much play. You could run this card at one if you don't want to run the promo. I think it's a decent tech, but I feel like I'd rather run like Kybri. It's the thought that counts, that this card can help you get Persona right off as soon as possible. But cool. Flamers are cool. I really hope that didn't count as my SP. <laughs> okay. Commons, commons, Theo, commons. Plant token. Look at him. Oh, those little, little flowery dude. And a rare, and a rare. When this card you're in your hand, if you have Angry Glitter, count as one and draw. That's decent. It's not bad. You only really counterblast for Thagreya's skills, so there is room for counterblasting in the deck. So not bad if you want to run these. If you don't have painkillers, these are a good substitute. Keeping it moving, keeping it moving. This is our third to last pack. This is the grade one for our kite, which kind of have some like, uh, uh, what's it called? Space Cadet Locoro. I'm totally butchering that, but it's the Studio Trigger anime. Uh, Trapeze Actress. That's cool, got some Pale Moon vibes in there. And this Dragon, Automation, Melissa, which is the ride line for uh, Genesis, the Minerva ride line. Chamomile, which is also <laughs> the grade two for the Minerva ride line, but it's also a double R. Uh, they both have the same skill, both Melissa and Chamomile. So it's when you ride on top of it uh, with a Genesis unit, you can look at top five, put two in the soul, the rest get shuffled. And the second skill is when this is soul blasted. For Melissa, you can call it for free and soul charge. With Chamomile, you have to counterblast to call it. Because, you know, it's, a, it's an attacker. And that's it for that pack. We got two left. All right, let's see. We got Calamity, Shoji Doji, Art Guy. Whoa, cool. I just skipped right into the last triple R. That's nice. <laughs> so let's just go into it. This is one of the new uh, glitter support cards for Tamayura. That's what it's called. Uh, when this is put from soul to drop during your hearing count blast one, call this to back row on the same column as your front row Rarami. At the end of the battle, this unit boosted for the glitter effect for Tamayura. Put all your rear guards in the same column as this unit into your soul. If a unit with Rarami Ra is in the card in its card name is put in your soul by this effect uh if you did not counter charge this turn soul blast one counter charge one nothing's changed too much it's just better support for tamayura so that's nice what else did we get since i'm just jumping into cards we got a flame rare 
uh Strahl win those. We we win those. We really do be winning those. When this unit attacks, this unit gets 5k until the end of that battle for every two resource card in your order zone. Good good budget card. Every two, so it's 10k if you get four. That's a lot of work for 10k. I don't know if that's really worth it. Um, but let's see, what else did I miss? Archite, common, common. Nothing, nothing crazy. So we're we're all okay. Last pack. Pretty sure this is gonna be our, our dud since we pretty much got through all of our triple R's and our flame rares. Common. That was the starter for Genesis. This is Algos, which I believe is the ride line. Yeah, which is the ride line grade two for Maelstrom. Uh, glitter support. This is a dinosaur. When this unit attacks, this one chooses three cards from the drop, binds them. They cannot bind three cards. This gets 10k. Mm, if they couldn't, then you get the power. I don't know about that. <sighs> Whoa! Are you kidding? I actually pulled one of these. That's, wow. These are supposed to be hard to pull. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm actually, I'm satisfied. I'm I'm 100% satisfied with this box. As the last, are you kidding me? As the last, last card in the pack. Wow. That's cool. That's cool. Why, why am I so excited about this card? Let's go ahead and read it. Uh, it is a regali piece, which is part of the regali lore. Um, you may only have one regalis piece in your deck and use it a total of one time in a fight. This is the first regalis piece, so this is the only one in the game so far. It's got this nice little mark in the corner over there. If I'm not showing it correctly. Its skill is... Let's go ahead and get that in line. Play this if you have a grade 3 vanguard with Persona Ride and you did not ride this turn. Activate Persona Ride. Draw a card, your front row gets 10k until the end of the turn and you're regarded to have Persona Ride, Persona Road, past tense. So this is really good in a, a lot of decks. So the fact that I pulled one is already great because this is probably gonna stay consistent in a lot of my decks going forward. So I'm really, really, really happy to have owned this card now. Um, cool, that was that was a great box. Let's just go over real quick all the, all the stuff that we pulled. Starting off, we got our Shoji Doji Grade 2, the one that, um, Puts the buying cards at the bottom of the deck. We got our Ammit Robust, which gets power uh, based on set orders and, you know, if having multiple copies of them. We have Gratis Gratidale, which is our a activates Persona Ride, basically, for the cost of playing it. So that was it for our double R's. We're going to our Flame Rares. We got Strahl, win those. Uh, the only thing he's really winning is 5k <laughs> at the most because... Um, Getting up to four set orders for 10k, I don't know if it's really worth it. Uh, Dark Magenta, the Blooming Hatred. You're essentially using Blooming Hatred just for the turn that you're writing to grade three. Um, it's not really helpful later in the game, <laughs> um, to be completely honest, just because you're gonna Persona Ride anyways, and I don't think you really wanna kinda double up on that. Um, but, uh, and also it costs a Counter Blast, so, but at least you get to draw a card, which is nice. The card exists, and if you wanna run it, there's nothing wrong with it. Triple R's, Tidal Assault, always comes back. So Tidal Assault is when it attacks. Uh, if you have Van Vanguard Maelstrom, it gets 5K, and then you're obviously stacking the Judgment Maelstrom, and you can Counter Blast to restand it. Our Archite, which is our main grade three for the Monster Ride line. We got Roroa Support, which is the new uh, Radina. Um, I didn't get any of the Madama Mama momo tokens uh those are probably still in dbtl5 i'm assuming so you got to pick those up from there there were not reprints there are plant tokens though i did get a plant token and uh re re me which is uh tamagira support and it does the whole like counter charging thing when you you know end of the battle that it boosted same column going in the soul so when it gets sucked you can counter charge which is nice so that was it for the booster box thank you all for sticking around and watching me pull open cardboard. It's always fun. I'm just, honestly, the best part about this whole box was pulling, whoa, this thing. Uh, this thing is really important for a lot of decks. This thing's really important for a lot of decks in my personal opinion. So if you can get your hands on one of these, get them now. Um, it is a little bit pricey, it's a $20 card right now. Maybe it's going down, maybe it's like 15. Get it while it's below 30. 
is all I'm gonna say. Um, because after a while, unless we get a way, way, way better Regalis piece, a lot of decks are gonna wanna run this card. So I'd say try and get your hands on it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. I just realized there are a few double R's that I missed out when going over my cards and I was packing them up. Um, we did pull Breathing Dragon and Chamomile as part of our box. So we did get one, two, four double R's, two flame rares, or sorry, five double R's and four triple R's. So um, yeah, the ratios did seem a little bit off and I was kind of looking through like, I feel like I did pull more cards, but I was missing two double R's. Yep, that was it. My bad.